Here's the Transcend 32 BHS. We've got our full length awning. Josh, can you demonstrate the pitch adjust? If you just want to change the pitch of the awning, adjust the rain a direction, you can do that. It just snaps right back in place if you push it back up. And here's there's Josh. He's helping me out. You do have your outdoor kitchen. It's just a two burner grill top. You've got your uh, grease uh, guards on the side. You've got your Stratford travel. You do have a little mini fridge, college dorm size, with storage behind on the grill. Yep, nothing special. In here, you do have your little lights. You've got your two uh, GFI plugins for 110 there. Of course, everything on the Grand Design is a magnet lap, so you just gotta pull it down. No catches to break. I break them all the time. You do have your LED light strip out here. Your outdoor speakers. You've got your aluminum steps, natural fill tires. You've got your tank fill right here beside your running light. You've just got your backer for your refrigerator. Water heater and furnace over here. Moving through, you have your cable hookup and your 110. This is for an outdoor television. We are able to install the bracket if you want us to. A lot of customers just do it on a table. And it is a secondary entry right there. Still uh, with the aluminum steps. And then you have your 47 cubic feet of storage underneath, your pass-through storage. You can see on the other side, it goes all the way through. As I'm showing you the full length of the camper, Grand Design is very proud of their thicker aluminum, 25% thicker than anything else on the market. We've got our electric tongue jack, 20-pound uh, propane tank standard. We add the battery on ourselves. You do have the solar prep. That's kind of like a tri trickle charge for your battery. As you open this side up again with the magnet catch, you do have your one stop hookups for your water station with the main hookup not putting a hole in the fiber or the side the sidewall. Uh, so you just run it up through the underneath, and your water hose will just connect from there. You can fill your tank, you can use your steady flow with that blue knob right there, battery disconnect, and all your inlets. You do have the black tank flush out here as well underneath your black and gray hookups clearly marked with the stickers right here. And then you can see your uh, low point drain beneath. You have your main slide. And then in the back here, you have your hookup for your shore cord. This one is a 50 amp. And then up here, going backwards, you have your black tank flush for your back bathroom with this being a bath and a half model. You've got your back bumper, your fully walkable roof. Your sewage hose is gonna fit nightly, nicely in that bumper. Uh, the end caps just pop off. It is backup camera prepped. You've got your spare tire. And then you do have a cold shower port on the outside. That's where that blue curly Q hose and that pass through was. It's just a nice quick connect, locks in place. So as we head on inside, nice friction hinge door. So the wind's not gonna catch it. I can give it a push, it's gonna hold. Of course you have your screen door. So going inside, we've got our nice sliding door into the bunk room got its magnet catch get a good view of that you can see your plug in your side of the chairs right there so going in here you've got your nice cubby hall up top your door storage down below you have a little bit more and then you have your heat vent you've got drawer storage throughout underneath two drawers some open areas then you have four large drawers going down below with your four teddy bear mattresses they are machine washable the covers can just come off, designed to not be used with sheets, but most people still use them. You've got your two ACs above, your LED lights, those on a switch. You do have a mini exhaust fan. Uh, you've got a manual switch right here. You've got plugins for a television with a backer on the wall on the other side of the bathroom. You've got more plugins and USBs for phones, and then your main light switch. Going into this back bathroom, the half bath, you do have your, your toilet down here. It is a full porcelain toilet, as you can hear, foot flush. You've got your octopus uh, uh, coat storage right there. You've got your mirror, your sink, your, your GFI beside, and then two uh, cabinets down below. Going through the, cab, uh, the, the couch area, you've got your two recliners. They both will full recline. And then you have your remote boat storage in, in between. These are very nice, I have them in my house bottom out of a camper you have your dinette that of course will lay down into a bed with your storage all the way back and then one cool little thing about these cushions they are fully reversible if you want to have a plaid side I say one side for kids one side for adults in case they spill with the living edge table giving a nice little textured feel into the kitchen 
you've got your stainless steel basin sink with the pull out nozzle. Ta da, I caught my little landline. You've got again 110 plug on. You've got your light on, up top. And then you got your three burner stove top. All right, there. And then this backer will fold up to be your uh, uh, splash guard, your, uh, yeah, <laughs> grease guard. And then you have storage underneath, full uh, access underneath. Um, for pots and pans. You've got silverware drawers there. You've got this drawer underneath. You've got two small drawers underneath the refrigerator. Nothing too special. If you want to have some knickknacks, patty wax down there. This one does have the eight cubic refrigerator. You can tell by the four shelves in the doorway. Right there. It's the propane electric. And then you have your freezer right there. You have your basic uh, microwave here, your one hot pocket at a time microwave. Open storage over top, and then you've got your shelves, open shelves, nothing impeding the middle right there. And then you should have the same uh, beside here, unimpeded as well. So if you want to put something large, a mixer, you can. But I don't mix on vacation. But hey, that's just me. You've got your television right here. You've got your radio, your DVD, your CD, your Bluetooth connected, indoor and outdoor speakers. You've got some storage beside, and then your larger, you can use it as a pantry. Uh, shove the little kids on that right side, you can get it done. Going back to the door, you of course have your coat storage beside your controls. I call this my umbrella storage because it does go all the way back behind that television. I can't reach all the way back. Then you do have shoe storage underneath, Be shoes always go where they're supposed to, especially in a bunkhouse. Going into the bathroom, you've got your extended countertop for all the toothbrushes you need, one for each tooth. You've got your medicine cabinet with your mirror. This is me, hello. And then you've got your medicine cabinet storage behind. You've got little shelves down below. And then underneath storage, if you want to put extra toilet paper, anything like that. Again, foot flush, porcelain toilet. You've got your small little step up into the shower, nothing too big, nothing too grandiose. Going into your shower, Beside you have your uh, towel hooks. This is the screen door. Three year warranty on that door. You got your shower head, your skylight right there. And then you have the deep towel storage again going the full length of that shower, about 30 inches. Going into your private bedroom. We'll start on the left side. You've got your main light switch, your emergency exit. You do have a spot for a television in here as well. You got your plug and your cable and room for a TV backer. You've got your hanging storage on both sides with plugins on both sides as well. Padded headboard. You can see on this side with the plug and you also have USB right there with it. Storage underneath the bed is a gas assist. So you don't have to be like me when I do work in my car. My hood does not stay up on its own. So you have to kind of jump in and out. Not with this one. You've got your two manual lights over top as well as your main LED. This is what your hanging storage is gonna be like on both sides. You actually have a curtain rod with underneath. You can tuck things in. Over top storage right here. It's gonna be unimpeded all the way across. Same storage on the other side. You can see it's open with the hanging storage. And then this one does have the second AC. It's a dedicated, you can see the knobs. And lastly, you will have your private entry there. In case someone's sleeping with your same sliding door.